On the table, we have Bakugan Fusion. Hi guys, it's Dan from Squirrel Stampede. What happens when you combine a Bakugan with a Subway sandwich? You get a Sub Bakuway Gun. Or if you connect a Subway with a pizza, you get a Sub Pizza Way. Or if you connect a Bakugan with a hamster, you get Ham Bakugan Stir Way. That makes no sense, but we've got Bakugan Fusion today. A lot of great figures, both Ultra and Basic. Let's check them out. Squirrel Stampede! Please squid, squirrel, and squamant. Great Bakugan bumps! 947,000 squirrel ivers. Let's begin the day on the table with Bakugan Armored Alliance Fusion Hydorus X Trino Ultra. I think what really stands out on some of these is the gold. Look at the gold on there. I don't think I have a Hydorus from Armored Alliance yet, so I guess I have half of one now. Back of the box. I can't really say I know the deal with Fusion yet. I just know that I like them quite a bit. So Hydorus X Trino Ultra, challenge level one. And these Ultra Packs include a little extra stuff. Should keep us pretty busy today. Quite a bit available for these Fusion Ultra figures. And Bakugan Brawl this out of the package. Oh, they're so cute. Hi, Doris. Or Trino, or whoever's there. I wonder how these guys share their favorite food. Like if Hydras really likes slushies and Trino likes safari meat, do they have like slushy safari meat surprise? Am I making any sense? Probably not. I think again what I like most about this one is the blue, gold, and orange. Wowie looks good. Included, of course, a couple Baku cores. All right, here's how it works. You take a Hydorus and a Trino Ultra. There's a great image character card. And we flip it. And we have a Hydorus X Trino Ultra. Very nice looking card. Also an ability card, the Aqua Soldier. And a heavy gate card with magnet inside for helping pop. So yeah, we gotta figure out how to ball up this thing. The mechanics of this one are so nice. These shoulders, they kind of like to hinge in. We've got toes with little springs. We've got horns with springs. All sorts of magic. Where do we start? Well, the instructions say let's fold in the feet first. And then somehow we're going to fold in these shoulder front feet together. So we'll try to kind of do that all at once here. You're gonna have to have like a hundred hands to do this as always. There we go, I think we've got the main body all scrunched up. Now we're gonna try to move in this headpiece. There we go. And usually last is to just wrap that tail in and clip in. And we did it! Oh my goodness, that looks so good. Did I mention how cool that gold is again? Wow! Now let's see if we can give it a roll. So where's our little director arrow? Ah, right there on the top. Or is that the bottom? Slide in a few Baku cores. And we'll give it a roll. Popped off screen a little bit, but not bad. Landed on its front two feet. And I like how the Baku core just rests on the back there. What a fun fusion to start with. All right, who shall we open next? How about a non-ultra like this really interesting Pegatrix Gillator? Is it Gillator or Gillator? It's a razor but it looks really interesting and roundy. These basic Bakugan figure packs come with a little less, but I like them because they're really easy to recore up. And opening up. Okay, what do we got? Can you even see it? Pegatrix and Gillator, just so blended into the table. I love the bright red and orange on the white. Oh, there's a little blue in there too. Pegatrix seems very elongated with this one. Included our Pegatrix Gillator character card. Good imagery there. One Baku core and one gate card. These gate cards are solid. No instructions for this one, so we're just going to have to wing it. So let's see here. Kind of guessing the wings might be the last thing to snap on this one. So we'll try to fold in these legs. Oh, that's some cool motion with the head. Look at those little feet. So, we'll just push those feet in. Oh, that's fun. And the same part with the head. Oh, the head's gonna have to go underneath though. 
flip inside, that corn of uni could cause some serious damage on the playing field. Now we just fold in these wings, and there we go. Oh, that was too simple. That's what makes these a lot of fun. Really quick to break down into ball. Now maybe we just roll onto these cards. It'll be a little easier to show off. Where's our little cool arrow to roll? There it is, this way. And... Very nice, one of my favorites of today. Just a little tricky to show on a white table. All right, let's play with another Ultra. These Ultras are a lot of fun. Who do we got? We have Trox X Nobilis Ultra. Now we played with an Armored Alliance Trox from earlier in the start of the year. Trox always a fun one, I like the T-Rex stuff. But now Trox has merged and fused with Nobilis. Although right now I'm seeing mostly Trox. Uh oh, we just went up a level in difficulty to challenge level two with this one. It must be those really skinny ankles. Those look kind of scary. Well, let's get them out. What is going on with this one? Again, I mostly just see Trox. Maybe it's just the green. Uh, does Nobilis have the wings or something going on? Uh, maybe these are giant wings on the back. They don't totally transfer right in Bakugan form. I really like the first run Armored Alliance Baku Gear Trox. That one was so much fun. This one feeling a little bit mixed up. Not so sure if I'm enjoying it yet. Maybe when we start going in a little closer. Ah, here's a better look at Nobilis, Ultra, and Trox merging together. Nobilis is just one I don't see very often. Trox X Nobilis Ultra character card. The gate card is looking really cool. Look at that. That's some great imagery, a lot of color. And we have an ability card too. Baku Briar. Looks pokey. There were a couple cores in here somewhere. I can't remember which core came out of this pack. And of course, helpful instructions. I wonder if Trox's tiny little forearms aid in the flight when combined with the flyer of Nobilis. A level two challenge, hum? Only seven steps in the instructions, so it can't be too bad, right? Starts with flipping in these ankles. And boy, do they flip, so we'll try to flip them in somehow. And then the head down. Oh boy, oh boy. That feels right. Oh, look at that. It tucks right in like he's sitting on his belly after eating a lot of food uh, watching football. Then we're going to put this top over his head. And now we're going to kind of squeeze some things in. Now we'll move these wings around. Oh, and he kicks out. He kicks out. Oh, no. Just when we are really getting him going. Okay, here, we'll try it again. Try it again. Come on, Trox. Relax. Everybody relax. Head flip over. Then the wings come down. Oh, okay. There we go. Now we're going to wrap this tail around. And we got it! <laughs> okay, that's actually real easy once you figure it out. Oops, something didn't click completely in. Uh, don't touch, don't touch. We got it! Where did our gate card go to test this out? We'll go here. And we'll do a roll if I can find the arrow. Look at the green and gold, by the way. That looks so good. The gold on these ultras. My favorite part. Okay, and we'll see if we can roll this over onto it. How about roll completely the wrong way? There we go. I just kind of rolled it whatever. And he popped up. All right, table cleaned up. Let's go back to non-ultra with Halcor and Remparion. Nothing beats a nice solid Halcor. I like how Halcor is barking on the back of this thing. Ah, huh, this one's cute. I mean, I mean gnarly, gnarly awesome black with blue and purple with green toes and Halcor Ramparion character card these really help kind of see the two fuse together a little bit better there they are wow the artwork is pretty cool on that one and our gate card as well okay Halcor X Ramparion I'm thinking this will probably be the easiest one of the day what do you think so far I think it's just gonna fold right up uh, where do we start Maybe these top two heads. The legs down here and the little head there, that's cute. Okay, pull those in. There we go, and then this back tail. Oh, I forgot these back legs too. Oh, yeah, super easy with this one, yay! And let's give a quick test roll over here. Nicely done. 
Well, since we're going back and forth with Ultra and Regular, I guess it's time for Ultra. Oh, and here's a perfect time for another Halcor. This one, Halcor X Serpenti Ultra. Halcor gets the best fusions, right? Uh-oh. We've got a challenge level three with this one. Do you think I can handle it? I don't think I can handle it. Although somewhat practiced today now, we'll see. Ah, the gold again with these so nice. Look at the wingspan too. That's quite the wingspan. I like how they've integrated and worked with that on this one. Very nice with the black, the gold, the purple, and the green. And of course, Halcor's heads. Kind of bounce them up a little bit. And our Halcor and Serpentis Ultra card. And fuse them together. We've got Halcor and Serpentis Ultra. Wow, there's so much color in there. A lot of purple. More purple than the ball here. And an ability card, our Darku Slayer. And a gate card. So now, how do we do this? There's 10 possible steps with these, even though sometimes you kind of skip around as you go through them. Oh, Bakugan, I'm a little worried here. Heads that flip. I think we start somehow with this hinged upper head. Just rotate that around. These legs down here. Maybe it won't be so hard, right? Right? So, okay, here we go. Flip the head in. And more heads in. Okay, I like that. Now the legs. I think we work with the legs. Okay, I think where I'm having trouble, I really need to flip these front legs all the way around and in, but they don't always want to go all the way around because the heads, there's something with the heads, how they interlock. But if you can get those legs to rotate all the way in, then we should be able to bring in the wings and there shouldn't be as much stuff in the way. There we go, finally a tight fit. Okay, there we go. Okay, so for me it was all about those front legs of Halcor needing to rotate them all the way in. What a fantastic transformation that was. Definitely a difficult three, I agree. But fun, now that I know how to do this one, I really, really like it and enjoy it. So let's roll over onto one of these cards and see what we get. I don't want to. I still don't want to. No, not now. Never. Ha, ha. No. No. Upside down pop. There we go. Well, that was a fun one. I really enjoyed that one. That was complicated. So we have a few more to look at here. Mostly basic. Ah, finally, Dragonoid has entered the house. Dragonoid X Treacherous. This one looks really interesting and fun. Love the fun box art with these. They're always kind of like projecting something out. Dragonoid and Treacherous, looking good. Wow, look at the fists on this one. Those are huge, almost like you could put an accessory in there. There's a hole in there, you could hold on to a weapon. He's kind of hunched over, but it looks good. I like the red and the orange. And the black and green on him. A lot of color on these that makes them really fun. Our Dragonoid Treacherous character card. Flipping around there. They are fused together. Oh, we have a Halcor gate card included with this one. Or did we? I'm getting my gate cards all mixed up. Again, no difficulty levels on the common basic set. Should be fairly easy to figure out again. I love how he's hunched in so much. Probably these legs. Flipping these legs first. And then the arms. Looks like he's eating a sandwich. And then the wings, although we want to poke his head in there somehow too. It all just kind of happens at once. And then this back tail clip in. Oh yeah, nice and easy. That's what makes these the best. And now we can test out, roll out a gate card. That might be our best pop of the day. Nice looking Dragonoid and Treacherous. Couple more here, how many did I pick up? There are so many fusions to look for. Here's a Hydrus Batrix pack. So earlier we checked out Hydrus Tyranno Ultra merged. Now we're looking at Hydrus and Batrix fused together. I like the green lines going on this one. Very interesting. Maybe more bat-like on this one.
<laughs> There's a lot of Bakugan action going on on the table right now. So Hydrus X Batrix, probably the easiest one I could say today. Love the blue and the green. Are you a Seahawks fan, anyone? Some of these kind of have NFL colors. I guess I watch a little too much football this weekend, apparently. There's our Hydrus and Batrix card. Oh, they're already fused. So we start here. Hydrus and Batrix fused together. Hydrus X Batrix. Did I say Patrix or Batrix? Patrix. I'll name this Patrix, okay? And our gate card. Oh, we've seen that gate card before, so some repeats there. Very solid looking so far. I guess I'm starting to see Hydorus' uh, lion curl back here more now. A little orange toes down there. And the wings, of course, are all Batrix. Feels like it's already mostly in a sphere with that head, so it shouldn't be too hard, right? Right? Probably fold in this little tiny head first. And these, oh, look at these cool monkey hands. Those are nice. Um, rotate around backwards, okay. And then rotate this in. And the wings, of course. The more of these you do, the more trained you're gonna be, obviously. And then the tail to finish off. Oh, perfect. Oh, I'm dropping. Perfect. Very nice transformation. So smooth with this one, so smooth. Set up some Baku cores this time. And we'll roll them over. I don't want to. Never again. Sorry! Nope! Here we go! Oh! There we go. Aha! And he's right side up. A really good pop. And one more fun with Bakugan fusion of the day. Trox and Sarius. Trox and Sarius. Why do I keep seeing Bald Eagle with this one? With the white head and the yellow talon feet. And it's Trox and Ceres, so Ceres does kind of have some bird-like features that make me see bald eagle on this one. Trox and Ceres combine, Trox x Ceres fusion. Nice image there. And for our gate card, very powerful. Okay, so to roll this one up, should not be too difficult. Oh, we've got it! Trox and Saras, very vibrant green to finish off. And there we go with Bakugan Fusion. What a great wave of toys. If you liked today's video, please give us a squike, a squirrel eye, and a squamant so we can talk all about these great Bakugan Fusion toys. Thanks for watching. That's what I have to say about that.